Okay, October 6, 2012. We're at Fair Game Outfitters Base Camp. Getting the horses ready. Head up in the mountains. A little fog this morning, but it's pretty thin. Should be a good day. Calling for good weather about the next five days. We're going to go up into the high peaks and go after some mountain goat and grizzly bear. Okay, we just got at base camp, we're just unsaddling the horses and gonna set up spike camp home for a couple days and then we'll go and do a little spotting. See so if we can find ourselves a goat or a grizzly bear. We'll get camp set up. Okay, here we are, we got camp set up. Mike and I are hanging out in that tent and Got the guide's tent and over there is the kitchen tarp. Be cooking over there, so we're all set up. Just gonna do some glassing. Kinda see the mountains right some of the mountains right behind us. Um, been glassing for a couple hours, haven't seen anything yet. But it's midday. Things should start coming out soon. Okay, there's base camp down by the lake. We kind of came up through here this morning. Up to the top here. Up through the ground juniper of hell. You can kind of see the basin that we're camping in. And then we into this basin here. Don't see any goats. Probably just climb and go into the next one. <laughs> like that? That's right. I'm gonna head right up that chute right there. At the top. And the last bit of water. This goat, he's about 100 yards away. Well, we figured he's just barely maybe an 8 inch goat. It's a great spot to get him and be a good pack out, but we're gonna pass on him. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can find a bigger goat on the mountain. It's cool to get this close. Just sitting there chewing his cud.
700 yards away from here. The cliffs. He sneaked down to that ridge right here in the foreground. He's about, about 450 yards away. He's got a hell of a weird. It's a goat right there, we're just waiting for him to stand up and we'll start shooting. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Stop. Good shot, man. <laughs> well, you don't have to drag and get him out as far. No. Nope. <laughs> Well, Ed, I think you shot a goat. Great guiding. Good shooting. Sir, thank you. But you also realize that now we are spending the night out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a nice spot. It is. <laughs> we'll be fighting over his hide. Exactly. Okay, here we are. Long hunt. We got it done. We ended up sitting down there for about an hour and a half, almost two hours, waiting for Billy. After we stalked to, to about 270 yards, and he finally stood up about the time we were going to try to readjust. And 270 yard shot, I shot three times, and I know I missed at least once. But then I ended up hitting him, and we snuck around down from the bottom here and put one more in him to get the job done. And great job by. Johnny Fair and Fair Game Outfitting. We'll be right on him. This is the second goat we saw today and actually after we shot this goat another big billy jumped up. I think he's pretty close bedded to this one and went over the top and hopefully the other hunter can get him tomorrow. Great job Johnny and got a great great outfitting business here. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you Ed. Okay here we are at goat camp. <laughs> got the goat skinned out and meat down by the creek. We're going to camp here tonight. Kind of going to do a 
real mountain man camp. Just what we have on. Shot the goat up here. Got her all cleaned up. Now we're just gonna build a fire here in a little bit. Sun setting in the valley here. Start a fire, cook some goat meat. Hang out till morning. We gotta climb up and out of this canyon, which is not gonna be easy. That's where we came down after the goat. We have to go back up there, down another ravine, up another mountain, down to camp. Okay, it's about 7 a.m. Just got done spending the night at our goat camp. Sun's starting to come up. Gonna pack her gear. And head out. Welcome to breakfast too, eh? Had a little red man for breakfast. Now we're going to climb out of this son of a gun. Be a nice little pull this morning. Warm us up. Get back to camp. It should be about four hours. On the ground. Oh yeah, a little frost in the pumpkin. All for a goat. Here we are, three quarters of the way up. Camp was down there. Climbed up this miserable son of a bitch here. Guy here, Johnny gave up. Still got a little left. <laughs> <laughs> gonna have to pack me. Haven't figured out how we're gonna get up and over, but I think we're gonna either go probably up there or over there. Good thing is it's all uphill. <laughs> Beautiful day. Especially with the goat on the back. There we go. There it is. All that hiking for nine inches. <laughs> it's October 9th. Johnny and I are heading out. We're going to pack the goat out of some bike camp here and head down to base camp, do a little grizzly hunting. We're just uh, about 9 o'clock in the morning. Pete and Mike, they're heading back up to where I got my goat. We saw a bigger goat after I shot mine. They're going to go up and try to Try to get it. They're heading up and over. That peak there. Hopefully we'll see them in a couple days. We're gonna pack up and, and head out. Beaut another beautiful day up here. Getting horses packed and saddled.